What's up guys, this week it's week two and we're focusing on sending Loom videos and more cold emails out to businesses in New York City. Within our sales campaigns, we include two types of tests. One is just a plain text email. The second is we send a personalized Loom video. Now, obviously this is quite an investment of time and it's really important to make sure that you're not spending too much on this. So there's a great video by Alex Berman, which I'm gonna show here. But also, you should try and keep your videos within two to three minutes, I'd say. Here's an example of one that I sent the other day. Hey, Nicole. Um, my name's Harry. I'm from a website design agency called Imaginary Space. We put a little bit of feedback, I guess, in regards to a couple of things I noticed on your website. I guess my first point is to try. All right, let me know. Bye. So yeah, that's a really uh, important point to make. Just keep them short and simple and you're not investing too much of your time per prospect because at the end of the day, probably you're gonna need to send a hundred of these before you actually get a bite. We are now going through all the leads as Leo's got on his screen here. And if he goes right to the bottom of the page, you'll be able to see that we have some leads in red. And this is because we're now cleaning the leads using an email cleaner. Do you want to explain what that is? Like? An email cleaner just checks if the lead's real or not. So that means that we, when we send an email to them, there's a less chance of it getting bounced back. And then what's really bad about that is your domain gets marked as like a spam account and it, it damages it. And what we don't want to do is damage it. So this tool takes all the leads, it checks all the emails for you so you don't have to. It will tell you which ones are illegitimate and then we don't send emails to that. So just some extra steps to make sure that we don't get ourselves banned pretty much from, from Google or Gmail. Optimistic colors, novel silhouettes. <laughs> pretty happy with the quality of the leads, huh? Yeah, man, it varies in quality, but... <laughs> So uh, I go through the lead list and uh, you can see under Fuego, I open it up and then what I'm doing is going through their website, looking for one or two points that they can improve on, putting that into my research list and then later on, take those two points that I've done and send them a loom video just saying, hey, found these two points on your website that you probably want to know about and this is the sort of thing that we do for other companies, would you be interested? Now i just got to figure out what the custom first line is going to be. So here's the basis of my campaign. Custom first line, other content in between, embedded Loom video at the bottom. And I love that you can embed Loom videos like this so they can see a bit of motion and their website in the thumbnail. When you click the share button, you can go to embed and click the copy GIF thumbnail and it will then automatically paste that in this format into the email for you. Made a big error. And it's kind of set us back a little bit. The way that Leo's leads work, I accidentally reset some of the dates on his leads. So now we're not sure whether some of the leads that he sent should be added to instantly now uh, for our follow-up process or whether we need to wait more, more, more day. Uh, this is annoying. I think this is why like when you're doing coder stuff, like don't play with live data, do like test data before you add an automation. You have to think young brother about your future, huh? It sets us back by like a day, which isn't terrible, but it's just still annoying that it happened, but I guess it's just, it is what it is. So this is like less than ideal when you make mistakes, but I think the biggest thing you have to deploy when doing sales campaigns is patience. And a lot of people will only try for a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, and then they'll give up. But somebody said to me the other day, like you may send a hundred emails to begin with, but it might be only when you send the, for the third time, a hundred emails that you actually get a bite. So consistency, patience, and tenacity, and just don't give up. Keep going, keep emailing people until you manage to get that sale. So I've been getting to guys to do on a Thursday before we have our weekly meeting is to do that weekly update of what they did and what they've got done as a Loom video. This saves a lot of time when it comes to coming back together because yeah, we don't have to go through all of this, we can just watch it as a video. It keeps our meeting short, we can just focus on the fun stuff at the end of the week and not have to focus on <laughs> any of the bullshit. Here's Leo because I wanted to share it with you. Hello, welcome to my weekly review. <laughs> um, this is my first Loom video. So they're quite fun and they allow you to get your personality across quite easily. So yeah, it's been a massive upgrade because now our meetings on a Friday go from an hour and a half to about half an hour. Talking about meetings, it's time for All Hands. Uh, all Hands is a meeting that we will come together and talk about how our week went. And uh, many is about like optimization and then like doing a big like whiteboard session to just review uh, what we got done this week, where we can increase the quotas and stuff, etc. So. 
So just a final update on how things are doing at the moment. We have 47 emails sent to different companies. In terms of the leads that we had generated for us, we had 226 leads in total. 48 of them were illegitimate and 19 of them have been a bad fit. And uh, yeah, 40 emails so far for Leo, seven for my uh, campaign. And then in terms of follow-ups, we've sent seven follow-ups so far. One has been opened and we've got 14% open rate. This should increase as we start sending more emails, but at the moment, the data is so low. So yeah, that's it for this week. Uh, next week, I'm gonna tell you all about how the videos did. But until then, let me know how your week went in the comments below. See you soon, bye-bye.